He's a big man in a van. He's a big man in a van. So it has been a very long time since I have done a big man in the van video. And I don't know. Uh, it's been kind of rough because I haven't been able to take my van out for a while. I guess I could have sometimes, but I've chosen to use my funds elsewhere with gas being the price that it is. And uh, Helga here getting 12 miles to the gallon. It just didn't seem practical to go take the van out, but uh, I just really want to get up in the mountains right now. And so I'm going very close to home. I've been here before in other videos. I'm just gonna go up by the Bonneville Trailhead up in the mountains close to home. And just me and Soli are going to go for a little walk. It won't be too strenuous since you know I'm in my flip-flops and but it's a really pretty morning even though it's supposed to get up to 99 degrees today in September. You know that's insane here in Utah. We'll get into politics because no such thing as global warming. Okay, next. Um, yeah, so that's what I plan on doing. I'm just going to go get up the mountains for a little bit. I make this little three minute movie. We'll see what we're doing. Hey, Sully, want to say hi to, uh, to both of our subscribers? Come here, Sully. Come here, Sully. Up, 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 up. Say hi. Yep, my little travel companion needs a haircut. So, here we go. Sully is a little bit excited. <laughs> We're going to go. I ended up at Buse Pond, which is a cool little park and pond that's right on the mountainside here above uh, Weber State University. So, that's pretty cool. We're going to go just do a little short walk for fun. There we go, video proof we took the magnificent beast Helga on her trip. Come on, Sully, let's go. Does this feel kind of ominous? It's pretty though. shaky little Blair Witch project look. You know, people kind of suck when they just leave trash around like this. I'm gonna pick it up. But what a beautiful place. I love where I live. This is like five minutes from my house. It's nice to have this in your own backyard. Here we are, at back at Helga. Had a fun little walk. I wouldn't call it a hike, it wasn't very strenuous. <laughs> it's a little warm in here, it's 100 degrees inside the van. When we get some air going, and we're just gonna chill here for a little bit. Say hi, Sully. Yep, we'll get you some water right now. So I went to get my dog Sully some water, and I dropped the bowl and it rolled underneath the van. I think I can get it from the other side. I don't want to run over it and ruin a bowl. All crisis averted. I got I got his water dish from under the van. And he's panting and panting. We'll go drink from it, so who knows. Yes, I'm wearing this hat. 
I don't care. I like this hat. I don't care that my wife calls it part of my absence outfit. I mean, I would never get laid if I was wearing this hat. <laughs> but it's all good. Anyway, we're just relaxing inside. And a cell change directions. Maybe. There you can see everything. Or solely. <laughs> Go get some water, dude. Drink some water. It's right there. It's that wet stuff right there. Go drink it. Go drink it. There you go. You can lead a dog to water, but you can't make him drink. He's drinking. Yeah, my van's a little messy. I don't care. Look, it's 100 degrees in here. But actually, I have... Let's count them here. I have one, two, three fans blowing on me. This one's just a USB. It plugs in. I have this little Jackery battery here I like. that I just take on short little trips. And these two are actually rechargeables. They're really cool because they have a light on them. And you can, they can hang them upside down from anywhere in here. Um, use them for light or use them for a fan. And they're rechargeable. They last a long time too. They'll last... I don't know, I think you could run them probably a day straight, 24 hours on a charge. Maybe longer. But, uh, yeah, that's everything. Sully was thirsty after all. Good job, buddy.